And I go, my first scene, this is it, the movie's big time, you know, and I'm like, oh, and I, I got a shotgun planted in my hip, and I'm riding, I'm looking around for the bad guys, you know, just trotting by. We get, we get to the end, he goes, cut. And I go, oh my God, my first scene, I did it, I made the movies all. I go back, and how was it? They go, real good, Jeff, now can you, can you not bounce so much? <laughs> 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 Welcome to A Word on Westerns. Today we're going to talk about a little-known TV movie. We remember John Wayne as Rooster Cogburn in True Grit. He won an Oscar for that. He later played Rooster Cogburn in a sequel with Katharine Hepburn. Jeff Bridges, of course, played him in the Coen Brothers film True Grit. Wonderful, all of them. How about Warren Oates? Would you believe Warren Oates is Rooster Cogburn? Well, our guest today on A Word on Westerns, Jeff Osterhage, was in that film with him. It was a backdoor pilot. Jeff, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let me ask you about that. That's, that's a film most people don't even know about, and, and I've never seen it. It was uh, originally intended, I think, to do as a, as a series mm -hmm. with Warren. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you remember about working on that? Uh, you mentioned a runaway horse. I think we've all had one, and I had a runaway horse on that one. Not on camera, thank God. <laughs> you know, but they don't stop. But the, the other thing was, it was my first Western, and I was brought up in the suburbs of Detroit, and we just get little, you know, stable horses, so, but I, I can ride, I can ride. Well, you really can't ride until you go really ride. <laughs> but one of my first scenes was I was on a horse leading uh, Warren Oates, uh, on the gold stage, and we were transporting the gold, and there's snow, and we're on a, a mountainside, and I go, my first scene, this is it, the movie's a big time, you know, and I'm like, oh, and I, I got a shotgun planted in my hip, and I'm riding, I'm looking around for the bad guys, you know, just trotting by. We get, we get to the end, he goes, cut. And I go, oh my God, my first scene, I did it, I made the movies all. I go back, and how was it? They go, real good, Jeff. Now, can you, can you not bounce so much? <laughs> I go, oh, shit. So from the penthouse to the gutter. <laughs> well, Warren Oates, I think he said Ben Johnson taught him how to ride. Ben taught Warren? Yes. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, because Ben was the so absolute best. It, certainly, in this film with Warren Oates, then you had to do it again. Who taught you how to write or did it just... The, the Wranglers, did basically the Wranglers and this few stunt guys and mm -hmm. stuff and I just hang around the horses, you know, and get going because like I said, I, I was decent. Mm -hmm. You know, I could kind of get away with it. I think, you know, the, the rodeo guys would say, you know, he can't ride, you know, but I, I think I was decent. Uh, so I just kept at it and kept at it. And then eventually Bob Totten, of all people, got me in the Ben Johnson Celebrity Rodeos mm -hmm. later. And of course I stunk at that, but I, you know, <laughs> I look good coming out the gate, but those horses are so trained anyway, you know, and I could double hawk, but that only lasted about five, Were six Were you a header or a healer? Healer. Mm -hmm. So yeah. was I, I was terrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but wasn't it fun going oh, on Oh yeah, because <laughs> the horses, like I said, are so trained, you can't look bad, you know? <laughs> Yeah. So, War Notes, was he good as Rooster Cogburn? I thought so. I thought the script was a little boring, a little slow. Uh, you know, I think they're trying to develop his character like John Wayne. You know, and he did it differently, though. Mm -hmm. Didn't try to copy him. He had the eye patch and as mm -hmm. a drinker and all that. But I think it would have been a very good series, you know. Uh, just plain didn't go, you mm -hmm. know. But, uh, Another TV movie that was a backdoor pilot? Uh-huh, exactly, exactly. And with, with Warren, did you... Were you familiar with his work uh, prior to that? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, not all of it, but yeah, I knew who he was. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Lee Merriweather played my mother on that. Mm -hmm. And I just saw her last year, actually. Still looks good, still looks great. Yeah. But, uh, she, she's such a sweetheart and such a doll and just absolutely gorgeous. I think she's 80-something and she looks like she's 40, like I told you. <laughs> she's just excellent. Um, but on True Grit, I was 24 years old, first movie, and I remember being in a hotel, and I just told her this story this past summer. And I said, do you remember we were all playing liar's poker with Warren Oates in the bar, and we're all drinking and all that? And I said, and I walked you back to the elevator in the hotel, and she goes, I don't quite remember. I said, and I hugged you and kind of kissed you on the cheek goodnight, and I said, would you like to come up to my room? <laughs> and she goes, honey, I'm your mother. <laughs> Didn't happen. Let's hear some more about your luck with women then. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <let me> get... 
Well, I haven't been married all this time. I just got hooked up with my college sweetheart. Oh, so wow. I didn't want to get married for a long time. I mm. wanted to run around. So if that answers the woman's no, well, question. No, that's nice. Can, so your college sweetheart, where'd you go to college? Western Michigan University. Mm -hmm. Mm. And you brought her down here? Yeah, uh, we sort of her family had moved out, and then we lived together for a couple of years, and then we broke up for 25 years, mm. and now we're back together. Well. She went off and got married and got divorced. I never got married. I have a daughter and two grandsons, but never committed. Uh. So, but now I have to, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pilot that didn't ever go anywhere, and it was called the Texas Rangers Billy. with Richard Farnsworth as the lead, and you were in that too. What happened to that? That was, I was under contract to NBC for a couple of years, and they chips. The two guys at Chips, the TV show, were holding out for more money, I guess, and they wanted me to replace one of those guys. And I said, I don't want to do a replacement. So I guess, I think they developed a Chips-like series for me and another guy in mind. So I was the Texas Ranger um, uh, descendant, and my buddy was a New York guy. And mm -hmm. so they, that could have made a cute little series, but it was an hour pilot, and I didn't think it was all that good. Mm. Mm. But it could have gone places, mm. you know. Uh, well, but you got to meet Dick Farnsworth. Oh, wonderful. One of the nicest guys. That we always talk about Ben Johnson. I think Farnsworth out nice to Ben Johnson. He was just, <laughs> he was so sweet and, and, and soft-spoken mm. and wonderful, wonderful guy. Well, and he had started as a stuntman for 30 years or so yeah, before yeah. He, he started speaking lines. And, uh, you see him as a cook in an episode of uh, Bonanza. Really? Uh, oh. Doing a line or two, and you go, I can't even believe that's him. Oh, but man. he was still falling off horses in Outlaw Josie Wales. He's one of the bad oh, guys trying to make his way with uh, uh, Sandra Locke, and Clint comes and shoots him out of a saddle. Huh. And then, like the next year, he does Comes the Horseman and gets an Oscar that. nomination. So. When you did, what's that? When they, the, 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 not the Western, but where the guys, uh, James Conn's trapped in the cabin. And right. He was the right. sheriff in that. Yeah, really terrific. That's, that's a nice film, too. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about The Legend of the Golden Gun with Hal Holbrook. <laughs> and that was, uh, I think, a very successful TV movie. It was. It came right after the Sackets, and I, you know, Sackets was a serious movie and dramatic and, you know, mm -hmm. authentic, like you had said. And I got the script for The Legend of the Golden Gun, and it's very cornball. I wind up in a white suit, blonde hair. I have a very hairy chest, and every morning they had to shave my chest to go to work because <laughs> I had to be like an 18-year-old kid. And uh, I had a golden gun that had seven bullets, not six. And it would have been a great series for kids, but I was almost like a, it, it was kind of a spin-off with Star Wars implications, but a Western, because I had like the force going on. <laughs> I was so upset that I did not want that to go. I turned it down a bunch. I said, no, no, I'm a serious actor. I'm doing the Sackage, mm -hmm. you know, not this. They actually offered uh, Hal Holbrook's part to Ben Johnson. Huh. And he, and he turned, turned it, it for the same reason yeah. I did. And we said, oh, no, we're serious cowboys. Coming after the Sackage, that is a major change. Yes, and right. so apparently, because they were the same year I did them, and, and apparently the, with Jim Burns, he told me the story. He said that they were pitching it to NBC to, to make it a series, and the producers of The Golden Gun were walking out at the same time, and they'd all known I had starred in both, and I'm going, please tell them I don't want to do The Golden Gun, I want to do The Sack. <laughs> you, you did also uh, another film, uh, our, our friend Bert, uh, Kennedy directed Big Bad John, mm -hmm. which had uh, Jack know, Elam. Jack Elam in that, and uh, probably Gene Evans, because uh, <laughs> you know, because uh, they were they were buddies. They they liked to I play poker think he was a lot. In I that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bert liked to have have them around. Probably Harry Morgan too. He had Bert had his own stock company mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. What was he like as a director? Sweetheart, uh -huh. absolute sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I got no complaints about yeah. him whatsoever. Wait, you know, great guy. films like The War Wagon, Support Your Local Sheriff, I, I love that. Uh, but, but he was a great director, Bert. Mm -hmm. um, really nice. Now, I, I usually ask people what it is about Westerns that, uh, that makes them so appealing. And, uh, you know, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Well, kind of what Stephanie said, you know, you, the idea that's so open country and it seems so free and so spiritual and uh, kind of like almost you can do anything you want or that's the idea one would get of how it was. Um, 
And then as a little boy, you know, like I said, drawing guns and then, and then thinking, wow, you can be a badass in the street or play the good guy mm -hmm. or the bad guy, but in my case, this good guy. Draw down guys, you know, and you don't get hurt because it's a movie. You know? mm -hmm. So it's just, it's just the, I, I guess the word openness to it, you know, the freedom of it, I think. And then it is uniquely American, mm -hmm. I guess, except for the Australians. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff, I want to thank you for being here. And uh, was this as easy as I said it was going to yes, be? Yes, it was. Thank yeah. you very All much. Right. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. All right. Thank you. True Grit was an Oscar-winning film for John Wayne, and he did a sequel, Rooster Cogburn. It was later done as a feature remake with Jeff Bridges, but little known fact, Warren Oates played Rooster Cogburn in a TV movie. Today we're gonna to talk with Jeff Osterhage. It is Osterhage, not Osterhage. Osterhage, yes. oh boy. Do we have to start from the beginning now? Well, let me, let's, <laughs> let's go back, let's, uh, let me, <laughs> Osterhage, well gee, I wish you'd told me that earlier today, Jeff. <laughs> I got, it was butchered my whole life. You know? Ostrich okay, egg, well, Easter tree. You'd, you'd think people would get mine right all the time, but they don't. So Osterhage, you know, I'm gonna do that again because it's nice to know that. Thank you for correcting Sorry, sorry I didn't. I hate to be corrected, but, it's, <laughs> but no, it's, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, you know, that was so great when everybody applauded. Let's applaud again, okay? And we'll just... <laughs> Welcome to A Word on Western. Today we're going to talk about a little-known TV movie. My name is Rob Word, and we love bringing these programs to you. We've got a lot more scheduled coming up. We post a new one every single week, and we want you to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.